If you are only using Cloudflare for CDN and DNS management, you are missing on a lot of great features. In this video, I would like to show you where to find them, how to enable them, and what they will do to your website. So first of all, you need to make sure that your domain is connected to Cloudflare. If you haven't connected it yet, I have another video right here that will show you step-by-step -step of what you need to do to connect your website to Cloudflare. If your domain is connected, what you need to do is to click on the domain. It will open you all of the different settings. So first of all, that you need to know with the Cloudflare, it protects your website. So if you have a suspect that somebody did those in your website or you have development mode, let's say, you will be able to find these features right here. If you see that something is wrong with your website or something is not loading correctly, Sometimes it can be cached. So what you can do is go here and click purge cache if you have this feature enabled. First feature I would like to show you is really great is the security. So go to analytics and logs, security. And in here you will be able to see a breakdown of different things that could happen to your website, but probably were prevented by Cloudflare. To choose the time frame, click right here and choose, let's say last previous 30 days. I just connected Cloudflare, so this is empty. And in here you will see the total number of threads, what countries of the threads, and in below you will see the countries uh, and regions of the threads based on the amount of the requests. Next amazing feature of Cloudflare that is really helpful and otherwise would cost you money is email routing. So within the Cloudflare, you can create a custom branded domain. So go to email routing, go to uh, get started. So in here you can create an address for yourself. So type in your name and then decide where the email should be routed. So I will choose my Gmail address in here. Now you will go create and continue. And as you can see, it's pending verification. So it will send you an email that you need to verify. So I got the email right here. This is what you are going to see. You need to click on verify email address. And now it will verify the address for you. And as you can see, it's verified. So it will be able to start the routing of the email. As you can see, I have some conflicting MX records. What you need to do if you see the same thing, you need to remove them because you cannot have MX records for the same host name. In order to do that, we will quickly jump to the records and just clean those up. Make sure that these records are not in use, otherwise you will break your email deliverability and yeah, it will be bad. So once I clear the conflicts, what I need to do is click add records and enable because Cloudflare already has access to your DNS, so it can update it themselves. To verify that everything is working correctly, go into your other email and email your newly created address to make sure everything is sending properly. And I received this email successfully so here as you can see it went to my new corporate email if you want to also send emails using this address you need to do a little bit more so first of all navigate to your google profile next go to the security in here make sure that you have two-step verification enabled if you don't enable it once your two-step verification is enabled open it scroll to the very bottom and click app passwords in here we need to create an app specific password so in app choose mail and in device choose whatever device you use so in my case mac click generate and it will create an app specific password that you need to save somewhere and this is what we are going to use in order to connect our newly created email address within the gmail now once that's done what we need to do we need to navigate to gmail go to settings click see all settings click accounts and import and in here under send mail as we need to add another email address it will open the following prompt for you so this is where we need to connect the email so in here choose your name add your email so ivan at orbunin.com now click next step so in here it will show you the wrong details it will show you a wrong smtp so we need to replace it with smtp.gmail.com uh, port needs to be 557 your username is the Google account username. So my Google account is for Boonin at gmail.com and the password is the one that we generated. And in here, click secure connection and click add account. Once that's done, it will send a confirmation email to your newly created email. And we already know that we can receive those. So what you need to do is navigate to your Gmail. So in here, copy the confirmation code and go back, add it here and click verify. So once that's done, now you can send the emails using your corporate account for free without any Google workspaces, any Zoho's, anything like that. Here uh, within the Gmail, you can select the account from which you want to send the email and just send your emails just like that. Honestly, this feature alone is amazing, but let's continue. Next feature I wanted to show you is speed optimization within the Cloudflare. So in here under the speed test, you can see what is your current speed and then make the adjustments and see if that will change. If you want the similar speed, I have a video about speed optimization right here. Make sure to watch it. And right now let's dive into this. So the speed looks pretty good. What we can do with the Cloudflare is that we can go to the optimization and make it even better. So within the optimization, without even buying the pro version, 
we can enable the auto minify which will decrease the sizes of our javascript css and html enable these features with cautiousness because they can break your website if you already run in some other caching plugins whatsoever scroll down to optimize delivery and enable early hints it will help you to load links faster scroll down and we also have a rocket loader. So the rocket loader will speed up your JavaScript. So in here, enable that as well. And once that's done, make sure to double check your website and ensure that everything works properly. You don't want to see anything broken. You don't want to see any lines of codes whatsoever. Everything looks good to me. And now let's go back to the speed test and conduct one more speed test to see if it makes any difference. So in my case, it actually decreased the speed by two points because probably my website was already too much optimized and I already have the caching plugins. So in my case, I probably won't be using these features. But if you don't have them, I assure you that your speed will be much, much better. Next, within the caching, go to configuration, scroll down and you're looking for the crawler hints. So that will help you with your SEO. That will help uh, Google to see whatever changes you made on the website faster. So enable this one. Always online is another great feature. It will serve a user's version of their website from the internet uh, wayback machine. So if your website is down, it will uh, preload them some backup that it had on the uh, wayback machine. So your website will still be shown to the user. So another amazing feature that will not be enabled by default is tiered cache. So tiered cache will use uh, Cloudflare's uh, global delivery network to ensure that there is even less requests to the servers. In here, just go ahead and enable it. It will serve your cache a little bit faster for users. And this concludes the free features of Cloudflare that I would recommend you to look into and take advantage of. If you had any questions within everything we discussed, make sure to post them in the comments below and I will answer them as soon as possible. If you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe as I produce a lot of content like this and give this video a like so other people will be able to find it as well. And have a great day. Bye.